on behalf of me and my teammates, I would like to say thank you, Mr. Uh, Eric Thayer, for this. Um, you know, it means a lot to us. Um, and, you know, everything that we've seen so far from Indonesian people, you know, uh, it's been great, it's been amazing. Uh, a lot of love, a lot of support, you know, and hopefully it stays like that and it grows more. And for Mr. Eric Thayer, like I said, thank you so much. Thank you for hosting us also. And, you know, thank you for always thinking about ways to support and help, you know, the Palestinian people in Palestine. Okay. Bismillah ar rahim My name is Mohamed Rashid. I am player of Palestinian national team and recently I just finished my contract with uh, Jabal Mukabir club in Palestine. I am 27 years old and this is who I am. Of course, Persib is in my heart because, you know, um, they left a good uh, mark in my heart. Uh, mostly I miss the fans. And mostly, mostly I miss the players, my teammates. Uh, it was one big happy family. Uh, this is why I, uh, I, I always say that Persib Bandung is in my heart. Um, you know, not only players, players and, and the coaches and the staff, everyone, you know. Uh, it was a good time for me. And, you know, we always, we never say goodbye. We always say until next time. So, inshallah, there will be a next time. Like I said, Persib is in my heart, you know, there's, you know, I always give priority to them if they want me, but at the end of the day, I'm a professional footballer, you know, if I have the chance to play for another club, yes, I will. And right now I am actually looking to come back to play in Indonesia if there's a chance, um, you know, it's uh, always a possibility because the atmosphere here, the league, you know, the, the, the people, the people are the kindest people I've ever met in my life. Um, and this is why I would love to come back, yes. Uh, at that time when that happened, uh, when that happened, um, I think it was the time when uh, the PSSI decided not to host the World Cup because uh, the Israel team was in it. And, you know, it was just, uh, you know, that was the best I can do to support you know the, the 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 heartbreak for the indonesian people um honestly i was very heartbroken for that because i know how all the players were looking forward to play the world cup and you know the the jersey i had is uh my uh, my team my old teammates jersey uh, victor igbenofo from uh, persip uh, i actually took it from him when i was there and you know i you know i thought it would be a, a good gesture you know just to you know it's a way to say thank you for what they did and you know i honestly hope that you know one day that the uh, this specific team the under 20 will be able to play in the world cup you know because they deserve it how is the condition in palestine football uh it's improving uh, i would say it's improving it's just there's always you know obstacles that happen um the main the main negative thing that happens in palestine league i would say is that there's no foreigners that are allowed in the league which is something that's always you know it affects the players negatively because there's not new talents that come in you know it's the same players um you know this is the one thing that you know it's you know maybe that's not much that helps but overall it's improving the the, the you know there's fields there's stadiums now it's a lot better than what it used to be so alhamdulillah for that Uh, of course, this is a very positive thing um, and, you know, on behalf of me and my teammates, I would like to say thank you, Mr. Uh, Eric Thayer, for this. Um, you know, it means a lot to us um, and, you know, everything that we've seen so far from Indonesian people, you know, uh, it's been great. It's been amazing. Uh, a lot of love, a lot of support, you know, and hopefully it stays like that and it grows more. And for Mr. Eric there, like I said, thank you so much. Thank you for hosting us also. And, you know, thank you for always thinking about ways to support and help, you know, the Palestinian people in Palestine. Uh, you've been playing the team. What do you think about the team? 
Very good. Um, a lot, a lot of improvement than you know the years before. Uh, I think they they they've come a long way from you know where it was before. I played against Indonesian Timnas in 2018, I believe, and it definitely wasn't like this. There's a lot of improvement that happened. Um, much respect, you know. Play nice football, uh, you know. And I actually I warned my teammates about this game. You know, I knew it wasn't going to be easy, and really it wasn't easy. Um, like I said, much respect and I wish them the best of luck and I wish them the best of luck in the Asian Cup also because I think they're going to be a, a tough contender. Um, to everybody who will hear this, you know, to all the Indonesian fans, um, thank you guys so much from our hearts and you know from me and on behalf of my teammates we would like to say thank you so much um it was great you guys you know the love the support it's you know we cannot even describe it we're speechless about it what we've seen today in the game it was amazing you know and um we would love to see you guys in jerusalem one day in al-aqsa mosque uh, inshallah you guys will come and we'll join you guys there inshallah and like I said, the last word is thank you so much and may Allah bless you all. And inshallah soon we will meet in Palestine, inshallah. Uh, are you still keeping in touch with players? <coughs> yes, I do. Um, I speak to some players, uh, Clock, Nick, um, Victor. You know, most of them Han Han, you know, most of the players Jupe, you know, most of them we speak Daddy. You know, a lot of them we, we, we keep in touch. Um, uh, you know, it's, uh, like I said, it wasn't more, it wasn't just, you know, playing football, it was more of a family thing. You know, I felt like they were really my brothers. Alhamdulillah, that was a great feeling. And that's why, you know, you can never forget them. Most all of them actually. <laughs> I was good with all of them, alhamdulillah, you know, and then, you know, um, but, you know, clock, but most of them, everybody, you know, was, I was close to most of the players, alhamdulillah. Would you mention some of their names? Um, Han clock, uh, Jeffrey before he left, um, Jupe, Supardi, uh, Dedi, uh, Natsir. Uh, he's in Dewa now, though he's not in person anymore. Uh, you know, most of them. You know, like Fabri, Beckham, <laughs> all the players. You know, so uh, Made. You know, God bless him. He he just finished. You know, he retired. So you know, uh, I would like to say, you know, uh, thank you for a great career, Made, and uh, God bless you in your next step, whether it's coaching or whatever you, that you're gonna do. You know. Charlie would be for the best. Okay. Uh, during your play in person, is there any Indonesian word you still remember since then? Yeah, 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 I still, you know, throw some words here and there. You know, I was using them in the strip. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I can speak a little bit still, you know, just not much. Like what? Well, you know, we can speak, it's fine. Like, apa kabar, baik, alhamdulillah, you know. You know, the, the basics, you know, the, the language isn't very hard, which is good. <laughs> a lot of it is in Arabic too. <laughs> Uh, and not in, I mean, in Indonesia, it was ikan bakar. Yeah, I, I, I love it. You know, anything that's on, on the grill, I like it. Ikan bakar was good. Um, also camping, yeah, that's my favorite. I used to eat it with uh, Jupe and Supardi and, you know, the guys. It was, it was definitely good.